everything is ready, babe. I'm done. I'm done. I'm right. But you asked me to make you more plantain and egg. Yes, I thought I needed them. Apparently, I didn't. So why are you doing this? I didn't even take much time preparing it. Why are you rejecting it? I didn't say you wasted any time, did I? I didn't say that. So you made me go through much stress preparing this plantain and egg. And now you don't want to have it anymore. Why? You're my wife. It is your job to cook for me. Or has the status quo changed? Has it? So what do I do with it? I'm off. <clears throat> See you before lunch. Uh, what, what, what do I make for you for lunch? Lunch? Uh, I don't know what I want yet. I'll call you before noon to let you know what I want. My suitcase? Oh, my bad. Um, it's not in the kitchen, it's upstairs. Sorry. Yeah. Are we up? Take me outside, BG. Where are you? Mama? How can you come into Nigeria without letting me know? No, 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 I'm not saying it's a problem, I'm just saying that. I'm sorry, Mom. Mom, I said I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, Of course, of course, I know, I know. I said, I'm sorry, I'm coming to pick you. Is that fine? Oh, all right, all right, mom. All right. Okay. Hello, babe. Yeah. My mom is in the country. Exactly what I said. I but please, I don't want you to bother about that. She just called me now. I didn't know she was coming into the country. Yeah, just um, get everything ready. And please, help me make um, sala soup. That's her favorite. And every other thing, okay? Mm. No, 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 I'm on my way to the airport to pick her. Where do I start from?
Welcome. You are such a gentle man. Oh, I'm so proud of this one. Welcome. Oh, God. Welcome. Who is he? You got another security man? Oh, yes, mom. You said you didn't like Adamo because he was always sleeping on duty. So, why is your hair like this? Why are you looking scruffy? Ma, ma, sorry, my Malians, man. Excuse you. Malians is a style, man. Um, mom, he, he is doing okay. Uh, at least he doesn't sleep on duty. Get my stuff from the. Okay. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey! Don't, don't touch my luggage. What? Well, Mom, you want me to carry that? Where is that thing you call a wife? She should come get it. Or she didn't hear me coming. I'll get her. Uh, uh, I said don't touch my luggage. Sorry, Mom. Amazing grace How sweet the sound That say Oh! Is it that you didn't hear us driving or you're just pretending? Go on and, and, and welcome my, my mother, your mother-in-law that you have not seen her over a year. Babe, I'm just trying to fix what Will you just stop that nonsense and go and work on my mother? Okay, let me drop it. Drop it. Drop it here. Go at once. Can you just leave everything? I said go at once. Okay, okay. My name is Philip, man. The new GM, man. The new GM. I didn't ask you. Mom, why are you still there? Making sure that this thing does not touch my belongings. Good afternoon, Ma. You're welcome, Ma. Madam. It took your husband to come and call you. So you come outside to say hello to me. You didn't hear I was coming home. I, I, I'm sorry, Ma, but I was in the kitchen. I was trying to fix you something to eat. <laughs> it's not been long he told me you were at the airport. It's fixed. Get my luggage. How was your journey, ma? Sorry. house. You mean you people don't have food? She's busy. I hope you haven't brought me back here to stab me to death. I'm not starving you. She's busy. She, the food was... I have been hearing this the last two hours. You knew I was coming. Mom, you just called me from the airport. So what? What's difficult in making food? Please, if you have nothing for me to eat, that's fine. Just take me to a good restaurant so I get something to eat. I'm hungry. Oh, God. All right, Mom, just stop. A few minutes. We'll be ready a moment, please. Few minutes. Few minutes. If that food doesn't come, I'll go out and look for something to eat. Right, Mom, calm down. What, 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 is, what is going on? Why is the food not ready? I called you as soon as she called me that she was at the airport. Why is the food not ready? What is going on? You must calm down. As you can see, I'm the only one in the kitchen. We are not two. Oh, I should have married a thousand wives just because I need urgent food. Thomas, I am preparing two soups. Different soups. Mm. Two different swallows. Just... Uh -oh. Don't just add to my stress, please. I'm 
I am adding to your stress by telling you that my mother is hungry. Your mother-in-law. Is that what you're saying? No, is that what you're saying? I'm almost okay. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. I'm almost done with the food. In a few minutes, I'll bring it to the dining. Please. Better. What is this? Your favorite mom. Hey, 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 excuse me. So because it's my favorite, I should eat it at gunpoint? Mom, no one is forcing you to eat it. It's, I mean, I just thought because you've been abroad for a while now, you've been craving for your favorite you meal. You don't assume. You ask. Did you ask me? Okay, mom, it's fine. Can you eat? You're hungry? I'm hungry, so I should eat something I have no appetite for. Mom, you are hungry. That's what so I'm saying. So what? Can you just eat I'm that? hungry, so what? I'm not eating this. Uh, sorry, Ma. What would you like to eat? Salad. And moi moi. Mom. Am I, uh... I have beans in the kitchen, so I can make them moi moi for you, but I don't have condiments for salad. I'll have to run to the market to get some. So run to the market already. It's okay, just drive to the mall and get it done. She's still here! I'm sorry, ma.
I was. Oh well, seeing that you're taking all the time in the world, I decided to go in the restaurant to get my mom something to eat. She can't be left starving. Tom, this was what I was trying to explain to you. I knew it was going to take me time to get the salad condiments. I wanted to get some from, from the mall, but you didn't even let me speak. I'll just take it back. Tom? Take it back. She's already eating. Do you want her to have a running stomach or something? Good morning. Morning. I am, um, I want you to take this. Call those your friends that normally come here to look for you. Okay. Share this amongst them, okay? Thank you, madam. But now I'll finish it. They call me finisher. This thing is very small. I'll finish it. I don't need to, I don't need to call anybody. F Philip, Philip, it's a whole lot in there. Call them and share the food amongst them. Madam, if I don't finish it, I will keep it. Let her warm it. But I don't think I will still warm it. I'll warm it. Salad. Salad. Yeah. I don't know, I've been fasting. It, it, it's okay, whatever you I'm wish to do. Hey, okay. well, God bless you. <laughs> hey, God. Okay, I was sleeping and the Lord showed me in the vision that I feel this morning there shall be manners from heaven. Hey, there shall be, be manners. <laughs> Agua, madam, if you eat anything, know that you ate fly. The other day, I was doing bed day. I said, I'm going to give me meat. I'm going to last year. But I God bless you. I got the last year. Why are you not sleeping? I don't feel like sleeping. <sighs> Sonia, I am tired. I am seriously tired. I don't know what to do. I, I, I am broken. Can you please come down and speak to me? What is the problem? <sighs> is it everything? Everything about my marriage is a problem to me. And if care is not taken, I will go into depression. No, 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 no. Do not mention depression. Just calm down, okay? Can you explain to me what exactly is the problem? 
Sonia, take a good look at me. Do I look like a slave? No. Do I look like a maid? That is the way I am being treated in my own husband's house. From mother and from son. The mother wants me to marry her son the same way she married her husband. It's hurting. I don't even know what to do anymore. How am I supposed to cope? I don't even have time to rest. I don't have a time of my own. It just feels like I'm living my life for them. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I do all the chores in the house. I don't even have time to rest. Oh my God. But you know you can still grab some rest when you're done with the house chores. Did I hear you say rest? How do I rest? My husband doesn't eat stale food. It is from fire to the dining table. How do I rest? Wait a minute. You, you mean you can't cook, put it in the refrigerator, microwave when he wants to eat for him? My husband won't touch it. Eh? He won't even as much as go close to the food. I cook every day of my life, three times in a day. I cook morning, I cook night, I cook no, I cook. It feels like I cook in my dream. I don't know what to do. And now his mother has added to the whole situation. She is a burden to my family. She lives in the house with us. I cook for mother, I cook for son every day of my life. I don't even have time to rest. All I'm asking is, is peace. I'm asking for my freedom. I just, I just want to live like every normal woman in her husband's house. You know, that you shall get, okay? And um, I want you to know that there is no problem without a solution, except death. And in this case, it hasn't gotten to that point yet. So I believe we can still work something out, okay? I promise you, we don't always try to advise people to go for separation. No. We can actually invite your husband over and talk to him. I believe maybe we can find a solution. Yeah? I'll try as much as possible to speak to your husband. And I hope he will improve. And you mentioned depression. No way. I do not have to put yourself together. If you don't have to get to that breaking point, getting depressed, no. It's not that serious, darling. Calm down. Can you stop crying? Just tired. Okay? Just calm down. <laughs> Just tired. Listen, you need to wipe your tears. You see, my mother raised my sister and I without a single maid. So I don't see any reason bringing a maid into my house. I will never do that. Why? Because that would be that would be laziness. It will make her lazy, and I do not want a lazy woman as a wife. Mr. Tom, are you aware that rich families like yours hire the service of a chef who cook their food, all their foods? Laundry men who do their laundry and maids who help out in domestic chores. You are where? Oh, well, that's their ideology on how to run their homes. But for me, I have a different perspective on these things. Listen, Mr. Tom, our job here is to fish out those things that bring problems in marriage and try to address it from the root properly. Your wife is complaining. She's no longer a happy woman. I heard you don't eat stale food. You make your wife cook three times in a day. And it's the 21st century. Come on. It's not fair. 
Is he Mrs. Marriage Counselor? There is no formula for marriage. So let everyone stick to what works for them. My mother cooked three times more sometimes for my father. So if my wife cannot do the same, then she has no business answering my wife. Mr. Tom. I, I, I believe we are done with this conversation. Mom, the files you gave me last week, I can't find it. You kept them by the shelf. They're still there. You sure? Mm -hmm. Same case. Okay. And and mom, I wanted to ask a question, yeah? Mm -hmm. When dad married you, how many maids or house help did you have? Maids? Mm -hmm. We didn't have any. Really? No, we didn't. <laughs> Okay, uh, another question. Uh, is it that you couldn't afford to pay a maid? Or, I don't know, just wanted to ask oh, to be sure. I married your father, a rich man. Mm. Your father, mm -hmm. my late husband, bless his soul. Man. He was the first. The first. The very first to ride a Mercedes Benz. In fact, a Mercedes 200 in the whole of our neighborhood. 200 messages. Yes, yes. In fact, we were the talk of town at that point. Mm. So if we wanted 100 mates, we'll get it. I really wanted to be able to take care of my children, your sister, yourself and your sister, until you became teenagers. Mm. But why do you ask? Oh, nothing really. I just, um, you know, someone somewhere in this house is uh, complaining of doing all the work. Complaining? Yes. Now that technology has evolved, you have washing machines, you have trees extractors, Dry you have cleaner. microwave and all that. Somebody's complaining. Complaining. <laughs> Who is, by the way? Well, you just that never thing mind. you call the wife, I'm sure. <laughs> I warned you. I warned you. She's complaining. That butcher where she came from, do they as much as have electricity? I think they use solar system. They use Guinea. She oh. doesn't even know what that is. I warned you. Um, Mom, let me just um, get the file. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, look what you've gotten yourself into. Mom, I can hear you. I, of course, I want you to hear. You've not answered my question. What is this? Okay, fine. I had a hectic day today in my office. Too many couples to attend to. A lot of issues, you know. Like, I know I wasn't going to be able to enter the kitchen when I get back. So, I rushed to a nearby restaurant and got, and got us this for dinner. I'm so sad, please. Sonia, can you hear yourself? Can you... Can you, can you listen to yourself talk? A married woman. You even call yourself a marriage counselor. So tell me, what counsel do you give to the young girls that come to your office for advice? How to be lazy and shy away from their marital responsibilities, right? Oh my God, you are so unbelievable. Like, I 
can't believe after explaining all this to you, you're still raising your voice. Like, why are you raising your voice right now? What's the meaning of that? Why are you raising your voice at me right now? What do you mean by why am I raising my voice? That my wife will sit in her office from morning till evening. She cannot cook food for me. She cannot prepare food for her own husband. No, Tommy. Instead, you prefer ravishing my money on food I don't even know how or where they prepared it. It's a shame, Sonia. It's a big slap on your face that you can't cook food for your own husband. I don't want you to get this clear tonight. I will never eat any food you bought from outside again, starting from tonight. To me, Fabian, you have no right, no stupid right, to tell me that I must always cook for you. No fucking way, I will always cook for you. All right? Sonia, you are my wife. I married you hundred percent, according to the tradition where I come from. Women cook for their husbands, so it's your duty to cook for me in this house. And how daft can you be? No, listen to yourself, Fabian. Hear yourself. You dare talk to me about tradition in this modern time? Like, who does that anyway? What stupid tradition are you talking about? Now I'm asking you! It's, it, it's my originality. I, I, I can't change it. Yes, I can't change it. It's my originality. Okay. I put it to you then. Now in those days you were referring to, men also cook for their wives. Oh yes! Same way women contribute to the upkeep of the family. Financially, it's a two-way thing. 50-50. You do yours, I do mine. All right? So don't talk to me about cooking in this house. Oh, I see. You can also cook. I see. Now you're talking. So you want me, your husband, to enter the kitchen and cook for you because you also contribute to the financial upkeep of this marriage. So make it make sense. Where did I go wrong? No. Correct me if I am wrong. Sonia, as long as I remain the head of this family, I will never try such. And I put it to you right now. I announce it before your face that moving forward, you are to eat food but from restaurants outside. Because I, I, Sonia, will never enter this kitchen again to cook for you. I will not. I cannot come and kill myself. I will not eat any food you bought from outside again. You better deal with it. I won't it. try it, Sonia. You will eat it. Sonia, it's your duty. And it's your job to cook for me in this house. That's and you so must. Serious. I married you. No Come way. Away. Why are you not sleeping? Oh, Ramadak, I'm not. Why are you not sleeping? I'm watching it. That won't concern you. If you like, sleep. If you like, don't sleep. Um, uh, I want to do. I told me about your pipe. I slumber. Maybe. I don't understand. I want to do. I want to do. Like who they swear for. I want to do. Get it in the do. Nothing more. Every day I want to do. I will go no. I don't that. Are you the spell? What is this? Leave me alone. Have my cow. Joy, what else do you expect me to tell you? I married you because of all these things now. Eh? I married you because of all these things. Big open legs now. Nah, now nah, let me do this thing now. Eh? Let me do now. Let me do. Uncle, from now henceforth, there is strike in this house. Sex strike. No sex for you until you learn how to be romantic. Now, nah, bro, And who commissioned that? 
We are on sex strike. You're on sex strike? Yes. Who commissioned it? I'm just telling my own. You have to go and learn how to be romantic. And I'm pro gone. Let's be romantic. I'm your wife. Let's to cut you. Let's be romantic. That's my point. It's not romantic. No, Joy, Joy, when I came to your people, eh? When I came to your people, did you give me all these conditions? So why are you not giving me all these conditions now? Eh? Anyway, um, that is a topic of another day, okay? Um, don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me. Leave me alone! Don't touch me again! Don't touch me! Stop now! Why are you raising your voice? Say give him something! Where are you going to? Give me what? Okay, sir. Yeah. Don't sacrifice. Yeah, joy. Joy, what is it now? What? Eh? Joy, why are you running now? Give me now, also. Come, what's up, I've been now, also. A slumber. Who is pursuing you? Leave me alone. Don't even come close to me. Just, no, I bound. Don't come close to me. Wait, oh, Joy. What I paid for? What I paid for? I, I paid completely. What I paid for? As commodity. Wait. Were you not there when your people collected almost 1.5 million naira from me in the name of marriage list? I was not there. Okay, if one way go no, all you go need water pipe here one way. No, all you go need that water pipe. It did not hear the money now, be plumber. Eh, 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 um, um, a joy, I'm going to have it. Get on you. Skip. Hey, hey, hey. So, uh, what is it? Which Catherine? What? Ah, get. Okay, what is this now? Huh? Ah, 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 ah. Get it. Happy more. Get Call it whatever you want. I don't care. Hey, what I will tell you what you, 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 you want to rape your wife. I will tell you what I will tell the court. Oh. You go to jail. Oh. You go to jail. I'm back now. Hey, Jenga, I'm up on Do you need megaphone? I'm back also. Don't worry. I will tell the whole. Don't worry, rape, oh. rape, rape. Leave me alone. What rape me? When did I say rape? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Leave me alone. Tom, I need you and your mother to know that things have changed. We are no longer living in a primitive world. This is a chat age for crying out loud. Yes, the world has changed. As a matter of fact, changed for good. So a lot of things are more easier now than it was then. So you have no reason to complain. You should also know that I am not your maid. I am not your house help. I am not a slave. I am your wife. Except you don't want me here anymore. Well, what is that supposed to mean? I need a maid. And a chef as well. Since you and your mother would not have stale food. There should be someone in the kitchen making your meals and receiving salary at the end of the day while I concentrate on other family issues. You lie. So long as my mother raised my sister and I without a maid in this house, you will not raise my kids was without any cooking? maid or help in this house. Tom, your mother was not cooking morning, day, night, every day on daily basis, was she? Tom, I am tired. I'm broken. I don't even know what to do. I am tired. I would rather go back to my father's house than stay here and be treated this way. Oh, that's fine then. Prepare to go back to your poverty-stricken father's house. 
Mind coming? Sure, I wouldn't mind. All right, let's go in your car. Let's go. After you. As for my mom, my friend, Fabian, he is a bosom friend of mine and colleague. Mm, I see. Please sit down. Thank Please you. sit down. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you came for lunch? As usual. Unfortunately, it's not ready. It's not ready? Why? Oh, just a moment. It's okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, so how's work? Fine, ma'am. Can I get you some water? No, I'm fine. Do you want a drink? No, I'm okay. You don't want anything? Yes. Good. Thank That's you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> right? I'm enjoying myself. Yes. I swear. And now, I know why you come back every day to eat. <laughs> now, I also know the reason you don't eat outside. That's what it's um, Your wife is a very fantastic cook. Mm -hmm. You could say that. Now, besides my mother, she's about the best cook. Obviously. And you know what? Any food you see me eat, straight from the fire to the table, Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mean your wife cooks three times every day? Not exactly. She cooks not just three times, but as many times as I want her to cook. And I don't eat any stale food, no refrigerated food, no preserved or warmer, nothing. All cooked and served. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. But it's true. <laughs> it is true. God bless. Like, I, I was almost considering a divorce with the animal I call my husband. You know, he's just so annoying. He's so local. I don't want to end it all with that animal I call a husband. But when I was told about you, I said, okay, let me come give your magic a trial. Okay. My husband is so unromantic. 
Like it's so annoying. It cannot even call me by a pet name, you know, like baby, sweetheart, even in public. It calls me by my name, Joy Bahia, Joy Bahia, you know, with his harsh and coarse voice. It's so annoying. You don't want to know. Wow. Is that all? No, that's not all. He's so romantic. He doesn't know how to kiss a woman. You know, make you want him. How to even make a woman wet? No, he doesn't. Once he, he has. He wants to have sex, we just want to go in and come down. Just like that. He, he, he can romance me, make me feel him. You know, he's so, he, he's so crazy. I don't know how. In fact, I am tired of him. But I actually hope and pray you can actually work for me and let my marriage come back to a very sweet thing. Please. <laughs> 